What is up, everybody? It is Straight Out Attitude, and this is the unboxing video for Kingdom Hearts 3, the Deluxe Edition for PlayStation 4. Without further ado, let's begin. I also should mention that when I went to pick this up, the guy that worked at GameStop also gave me this for free. It's, I guess he said it was a wall flag. Sort of a poster, but instead of paper, it's made of cloth. So, we will open that as well, but firstly, let's get on with this. Now, from what my little knowledge is, Kingdom Hearts 3 has been out for a couple of weeks, maybe a couple of days, I'm not really sure. Um, and I really would prefer not to damage this box, so I'm going to try to be very careful. I'm just not sure how I can do this easily with one hand. But I am going to try nonetheless. So first of all, let's uh, let's take a look at the box within the packaging before I start cutting it open. On the front here, obviously, we got a big shiny Kingdom Hearts 3 logo. We got the deluxe edition written right there. We got the side of the box, pretty pretty simple. On the back of the box, it just shows you some little uh, some little screenshots, I guess, of some of the characters. Uh, shows you the main cast right here of Sora, Donald, and Goofy. I also should throw out here that I'm not super duper familiar with Sora's main line of games. The only Kingdom Hearts game that I've ever played to this day was the one back on the Nintendo DS. I believe it was called Kingdom Hearts uh, 358 over two days. Uh, so I sort of, I got introduced to Kingdom Hearts through the character of Roxas. So I'm not super duper familiar with Sora's... Uh, games but uh nonetheless kingdom hearts 3 did look like it was going to be a lot of fun so i cannot wait to play it but before i play it i have to get it out from its box so with that being said i'm going to stop talking about kingdom hearts for a few minutes while i finish unwrapping all this packaging I'm going to move that to the side, actually. <laughs> I don't want to accidentally cut myself. That would not be very fun. All right, so here it is out of the packaging. Still pretty shiny. It looks amazing. The, the, the box art itself looks pretty good. Here's the side of the box, the other side. I love that design. Um, and then bottom of the box just says Deluxe Edition. Now we can get a better look at the, bo uh, the back of the box. The ultimate battle for Kingdom Hearts is upon us. Sounds cool. So we got some little screenshots here. Looks like we got that that snowman from Frozen. I am not a fan of Frozen. Uh, for people that are, though, I'm, I'm, I'm sure this is exciting for you. So uh, they meet up with the Frozen cast. Pretty cool. They meet up with Monsters, Inc. Now that movie I actually liked. Uh, here's a picture of uh, Hades and Maleficent, I believe. I did like the movie Hercules, but I'm not such a fan of Snow White or whatever Malef Maleficent is from. I'm not super familiar. Uh, we got Woody and Buzz back here. Pretty cool. We got uh, Rapunzel from Tangled. That is one of the few Disney movies that I actually liked. Uh, so yeah, Tangled was a fun movie. Uh, Big Hero 6, I think, is what this screenshot is supposed to be. I've actually never seen Big Hero 6, so that'll be interesting. We got uh, Riku and Mickey here. We got Captain Jack Sparrow. And uh, with the deluxe version, it comes with uh, a steelbook case, which is going to be a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff. So a steelbook case, uh, that's basically the, the case that the game comes in pretty much. But instead of the normal PlayStation 4 uh, game case, it comes in a steel case made of metal. So that'll be really awesome. It comes with a little collectible pin right back here as well as an art book, so I can't wait to dive into that. But uh, before we do that, let's open the containment of the box, if that's even the right word I'm using. I think so. I'm literally just going to dump everything out and hope for the best. Nothing else inside the box. Ooh, wait, there still is something inside the box. We forgot about the pin. All right. So here is the pin out of the box. I'm not going to take it out of the packaging yet. It looks too good. Uh, but there's, it looks like it has a, uh, it's a pin of Sora wearing some sort of crown. So that's pretty cool. I'll set it aside for now though. Set the box aside. 
Here we have what looks to be the art book of Sora wearing the crown again. That's cool. Uh, on the back or the front, we have Sora in his normal outfit is what I propose that it is. Let's see. Oh, it goes backwards. Okay, that's cool. So let's take a look at this art book really quick. So message from the director. All right, that's cool. I'm not going to read that, obviously. We got a thing for uh, Sora's journal. J journey, sorry. I read that in a, in a, incorrectly. We got characters. We got Sora, Goofy, Donald, some other guys. Pretty cool. Um, oh, this is, this is, uh, this is uh, concept art, I think. Cool. For the different characters. That's pretty cool. We got uh, more characters from Organization 13. I believe that's what the what the Roman numeral is. Pretty cool. Uh, anyway, I'm not gonna spoil too much of this book in case you know something something happens. So I'm not gonna spoil too much of the book. But that is really cool, really cool art book. Now let's take a look at the uh, the game itself. So here is the PS4 game. Pretty neat. It looks like a normal case, however. Which means this is the Steelbox case. Pretty cool. That is the Steel case. And what is in the Steel case? Let me look, actually. Eh. Come on, open, you little turd. Oh, there's nothing in the Steel case. So that must mean that you can choose to either use the regular PlayStation 4 game case or you can use the Steel case. That is really cool how they give you the option to use either one. I really like that. Frankly, I think I'll probably use the steel case more often to storage the game. However, I do love that they give you the option to use either case. That is really cool. Definitely a plus. So that is that is nice. That is that is really nice. I love that. All right. Um now I'm going to set the pin over here and we are going to dive right into this wall poster. So I just went ahead and removed it from the packaging to save time. Now let's unravel it and see what this flag looks. Holy, this thing is actually pretty big. Holy cow. All right, it, it's almost like a blanket. I just have to kind of unravel it real quick. All right, so I did the liberty of unraveling the whole poster or a uh, wall. Uh, what are we going to call this? A wall cloth? A wall thing? Anyway... So that is, it is pretty big looking at it, and it actually looks really nice. I think I'm definitely going to hang this up on the wall at some point. Um, but yeah, that is really cool. Kingdom Hearts 3, it's got Sora back here. It's got uh, Woody, which is really cool. Um, with that being said, though, that about wraps up the uh, unbox and review. Hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.